Okay, I am going to show you how to record an absent sound using virtual MIDI and audio cables and sample robot and then export it as a sound font for use with your Dixie Bell. Okay, so first of all, I've got Absinthe 5 running here with this sound Aurora Digitalis, which is kind of a nice metallic pad. Kind of big sounding, only through the headphones at the moment. But now what we need to do is we need to turn the audio and MIDI settings, okay? We need to go to my driver, and we need to change it to Wasapi, and the device to virtual audio cable, which I downloaded earlier. Routing has to be cable input left and right, and MIDI has to make sure that loop B internal MIDI is activated. This enables the... Uh, sample robot to be able to use virtual audio and virtual MIDI cables to record VSTs within Windows at the moment. So now there won't be any sound because the audio is being routed to a virtual audio output. So I need to open a sample robot. Da, da, da. First of all it comes up with the project wizard which is easy so let's go next. What do we want to call it? It's Absinthe Aurora D. Sure no problem. Next. Sample data path where I want my web files to be stored. Next. Cable output is selected, my virtual audio output, which is sending the audio from Absinthe. Now, um, is my bit, bit depth and audio sampling frequency, just 44.1, stereo 16-bit as standard. Automatic recording selected for MIDI instruments, yep. MIDI out. Now, I don't want it coming out of my interface, I don't want it coming out using the Microsoft one, I want my virtual internal MIDI, so my virtual loop B internal MIDI cable is selected. MIDI channel 1, I don't want it to change programs, so MIDI, MIDI program is set to 0. Full 88 note length please. Velocity layers, I could have as many as you like, um, but with this sound it's, it doesn't actually have different um, samples coming out with different layers, so just one layer is fine. Next, note length in seconds, it's a nice long pad, so let's leave it at 10 seconds. Auto loop, so it finds the loop points. Intermediate for pads, voices, and drum loops. Yeah, it's not that complex a sound, so we'll leave it there. Loop starts at 50% of the sample's length. There, that sounds right. Sample robot is now ready. Estimated duration, 3 minutes and 33 seconds. The file size will be 26.5 meg. Okay. Start recording. Go. Now you'll see. It's sending MIDI data out to this is then playing the sound and recording it automatically. There we are. Checking the loop points. Three, two, one, and playing F. And there it is. So you basically sit back and it does its thing. Now this is perfect for getting your VST instruments or your synth sounds that you're using in tracks sampled and then placed into your synth for stage. Saves having to uh, use a computer on stage and also once they're in the Dexibel's memory gives you your unlimited polyphony, all the effects um, and also enables you to layer it up with the sounds that are on board. So for example I've got this pad coming down, uh, once I've got this onto my Dexibel I can then layer it with the Vivo Grand, I can use all the reverbs, the choruses, all the tremolos, all the inbuilt effects. Um, and not worry about note dropping out. So it's very, very useful. Alright, I'm going to leave this going and I'm going to come back once it's finished. Ta da!